So I was at an ugly sweater um, party get together this last Friday, right after Thanksgiving and walked in and it was, um, you know, Adonis uh, and one of our best friends, Aaron, uh, that walked into this party and it was given by uh, um, a client of mine uh, that I've had for well over 18 years. And she had a whole bunch of cool couple friends there. And um, as I walk in, this one gentleman, uh, straight guy, um, his name his name was Aaron, uh, great guy, comes up to me, um, don't know him, never met him before. And uh, he, he looks at me and just says, how did you become a badass? <laughs> I said, I'm not a badass, I'm just CJ. And he pointedly put his hand around me and he points at all the other guys in the room. And these guys are big, burly, straight men with their wives. And, you know, I'm, I'm this, you know, I'm just CJ, right? With my partner here, you know, uh, whole three three gay guys, you know, walking into a straight party. And, and he says, how did you? And he says, look at these straight guys. They are not badasses. But when you walked in, you were a badass. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm going to go down a, a different side of this story um, in this podcast. So just listen in. Just, just bear with me as I, as I go down this story because it gave me a great idea for this podcast. My name is CJ. This is Evolve Strong with CJ. I help you lose 10 pounds and five inches in 28 days. This is my this is my passion. This is what I love, love doing. And um, so thank you, Maggie, for inviting me to this ugly sweater party. I really do appreciate it. I love you to death. We were the last ones standing. And uh, Maggie, she brought out her little, uh, her, her little uh, be- uh, 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 what is it called? Belly dancing belt and did a cool little show for us. Clothes on, obviously. Um, and then her, her significant other, you know, did this break dancing show. It was, it was just a really cool event. But, you know, it, it got me to think about why someone would come up to me. Yeah, they've had a few beers. Yeah, they're a little, you know, a little buzzed out and stuff. And they would consider me a badass. In my head, I'm not. I'm just CJ. But I have learned to be able to carry myself well in any situation. Before, before... Um, when I was a, a young kid, um, I, I, you know, I grew up with absolutely nothing. I had a very loving, loving mother and father. They were the absolute best. And I was never hungry, but we didn't have much. And with that said, I was put into a middle school where, um, you know, they, they were quite wealthy and I was not. And so I had hand-me-down clothes and I had stinky, pale shoes. So I got picked on a lot. I actually shaved my head. I became very emo. Um, Sinead O'Connor was my idol. And <laughs> like, I hung around with the wrong folks. And in PE class, man, this one kid just pissed me off, poking fun at my stinky feet. So I beat the shit out of him. And that's when my mom put me in martial arts academy. Back then, I, I, didn't, I, 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 I couldn't carry myself. I was not proud of who I was. I was not proud of where I came from. I was actually ashamed. And it took me... You know, and, and when I got into high school, um, you know, I finally came out of that shell. You know, I was fighting. I found my I found my myself again. And actually, they, they voted me the most changed in high school. Right. I even became, you know, a homecoming uh, prince and all that good stuff. And um, I really found myself again. Um, but then, you know, I lost myself after I, I, I graduated from college and I started running my dad's company and money just I lost myself and I was someone who I really wasn't I, I was pretending to be I was hiding who I was I, I was suit and tie and I, I just wasn't who I was yeah I could come into a room and, and really work it but I, that was my job and I, I, I wasn't really me and then I lost myself and then I lost myself deep into drinking and into major drugs and I, I, I mean I, I lost everything I lost my family I mean it was just it was just a bad time in my life uh, up in 2008 you know, Harvard graduate cleaning toilets. You know how ashamed I was actually working at Midtown Sports and Wellness and seeing clients who, who I once were, were, I mean, who saw me as a, a president of NAOP and, you know, a, owner of my own company and in these big houses. I mean, and now I'm cleaning toilets. Dude, I lost myself, lost myself completely. I was very humbled and all, everything was taken out from underneath my feet. But I rebuilt myself again. And when I rebuilt myself again, I have a very, very strong foundation. And now today, nobody, no avalanche, no, no earthquake, no tornado, no tsunami can ever break that foundation for me again. And I help individuals build their foundations. 
And we, sometimes we have to tear them all down. Sometimes we have to break everybody down. We have to, we have to get them. We have to give them a slice of humble pie like I did. And then they have to rebuild themselves back up. And that's what I do every single day. And I think because of that strong foundation that I have built, and I no longer live a lie of I am who I am. If you don't like me, I'm sorry. You know what? That's your choice. That's your deal. I'm, I'm not going to stand for everybody. I'm not going to please everybody. If I can make 80% of the people just absolutely happy with me and I can help that, that, those individuals, and if I piss 20% of you off, that's just, so be it. And if I walk into a, a get together and it, it, it is, it's just, that's who I am. And I think that sense of confidence comes from being thrown through the ringer, having everything lost, being on the front page of newspapers as the worst business person in the world. I mean, I, I know that that's how that happened. And But today, I carry those battle scars on my arm, and I'm proud of where I've come from. I'm proud of the battles that I've fought, and I'm proud of where I'm currently at. And I think, I, and I know that that gives me that sense of pride to where some individuals, like Aaron, over the weekend, thought that I was a badass. Now, that's not my intent. That's not my intent at all. But I am who I am, and I know who I am, and I'm passionate about what I do. And I, I love people. I love the people that I serve. And in turn, I know they love me. And that is how I've become a badass. <laughs> All right? It's not how much I could lift. It's not how far I could run. It's not how big I can jump. It's none of that. It's not how I look shirtless. It's not any of that. It's who I have become because of the hardships. And now I don't never give up and I keep going. I hope this message resonates with you. And if you need some help building your foundation, I'm here to help. All right? 505-591-4700, 505-591-4700. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your fitness journey. If you find this helpful, please share it. I'd really appreciate that. From my heart to yours, start strong, stay strong, always be evolved strong. Later.